What is going on guys welcome back to another video of Android application development in Android Studio. In this video we are going to create simple and beautiful login screen for any application you are going to build. This login screen will have username, password and also the social logins like Google, Facebook, LinkedIn or Twitter anything you want. This video is simple UI tutorial video so that you can learn how to create a simple login screen for your application. So let's get started with new Android Studio project. Select empty views activity and you can give any application name for now. Login app, select minimum SDK and build configuration language let it be recommended. Click on finish. So our project is loaded. We have two files mainactivity.kt and activity main.xml where we will design the UI. Let's go to activity main.xml and click on split over here so that we can see the code and the design at the same time. So first of all say hello to this hello world and delete it and make this constant layout as a relative layout for now. First thing we will do is we will create a background for this page. So we will have nice gradient background. So for that what we will do we will go to resource, drawable, new, drawable resource file. We can create any background so let's say login background. Click on ok. So here instead of selector we will use shape and in the shape we will create a gradient. So let's say gradient type will be a linear type angle will be let's say 90 or 100 let's give the start color and also the end color. So start color we can set it to first black and end color as white. So you can see we have the nice gradient. If we go to activity main.xml and give the background to this as login background you can see the gradient over here. Let's change the color of the gradient. I will make it as something like something blue color and end color let's give a red color. So it will look like this. You can give any color. Let's go to activity main.xml and see our background is looking good. Now here we will create the layouts. So first layout we will create is linear layout so that we can put the linear layout in a center and we can arrange items in vertical order. So linear layout, match parent, height will be wrap content, gravity will be center and orientation will be vertical. Inside this linear layout we will add, first thing we will add is image view. So image view, let's give size 160 dp and we have to give the source of image view. So from where we will add, you can add your own image or we will go to drawable, new, vector asset, on clip art you can select any of the icon from here. I will select account this one account circle you can give the size anything and let's the color be white and give that icon name icon count circle next finish now here give the source icon account circle so here it is showing we can set this entire linear layout in the center so here we can do gravity center let's give padding as well about 16 dp that's it now after this image view we will add one edit text to show the username edit text width will be match parent height will be wrap content so let's give the hint as username you can see over here it is visible text color will be white hint text color also white let's increase the text size about 20 sp and we need a background for this so in the same way we have created background for the login page we'll create a rounded corner background for this so let's go to drawable again new drawable resource file let's give the name rounded corner and root element will be shape click on ok so here we will create a background so for this shape i will use shape as rectangle and i will give corners radius about 24 dp also stroke width will be 1 dip and color will be white so that it will be 24 dp rounded corner for our rectangle now let's give background to this edit text rounded corner you can see it is looking like this now let's give padding 18 dp input type will be text if you want email you can set it as text email address and let's give id to it username input here we can give margin top as 32 dp so that we can have a space between these now let's copy this edit text we can make it for password also paste it below hint you can give password margin top let's give 16 only and input type will be password text password and id will be password input in this way username and password field are ready now we have to create a button so below this we'll create button 
width match parent height wrap content text will be login background tint let's say white text color let's say something blue padding will be 18 dp margin top let's give 32 dp text size 20 sp and id will be login button so our button is also ready now we will add social logins over here so for that i will write text view wrap content wrap content text will be social login text size will be 18 sp text color will be white margin top 32 dp now below this we can add as many icons so i will create linear layout we want in horizontal match parent wrap content orientation horizontal let's give margin top as 8 dp gravity will be center inside this we'll create image view for our social logins so image view let's give 64 dp both margin will be 16 dp and source will be image view whatever we will import so i have in desktop two image view that is facebook and linkedin i can copy this and in drawable i can paste it so we have facebook and linkedin here we can give facebook it will be like this you can copy this paste it as many times you can you can add more also i will add only two for now and i will give linkedin to this id will be facebook button for this id will be linkedin button in this way our basic but beautiful ui is ready you can access it in main activity with view binding or you can use find view by id let's test it also so what i will do let in it where username input edit text same way password input and also a login button which will be button you can use find view id user name input or password input password input login button and in login button dot set on click listener whenever user clicks on login button we will get the username and password from the edit text so for that username equals to username input dot get text dot string password now we now for testing we can log give the tag test credentials and we can show username dollar username and password dollar password let's run and test how it is looking and it is working or not so install successfully you, you can see it is looking nice and beautiful you can add username and also the password we can click on login go to log cat search for credential you can see test credentials over here that is username and the password so in this way it will work so in this video we have created the beautiful login screen for any application you want if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye